So, hello everybody! Yesterday I received over the post office the CPU that I will use to upgrade my CPU inside my rig. So basically I thought why not to record all this stuff so you can learn too. Okay, in my case currently it is Intel 2nd generation i3 processor 2120, uh, 2 cores, 4 threads. Uh, that is the cheapest version that I found back years and years and years ago when I built this computer. Uh, but I will be replacing it with the third generation i5 processor 3470. Four cores and four threads. So, performance wise, it is big different. Uh, and there is multiple reasons why would I want to do this but main reason is to create two PC streaming setup so basically streaming on my laptop gaming laptop sending the image of game over to desktop computer with the NDI plugin over my local area network and my desktop computer will process it, I will add the camera and elements, you know, as you know, and send it to all of you live. Mm -hmm. Okay, but before I tell you all this stuff, don't forget to subscribe, click bell icon to get notified about new videos. Of course, if you like the video, give thumbs up, if you did not, give thumbs down, and share with others, so others can learn too. And let's First, we need to take cooler out where those four pins is keeping it in a place. If we want to take it out, we need to unlock those four pins. How do we know if those pins are locked or not? On each pin's head we have a line where if the line is looking directly at the fan, then the pin is locked. To unlock, you need to turn the pin 90 degrees counterclockwise. Do the same for all four pins. Before we take cooler out, we need to unplug fan connector first. Just one quick tip, tie wires together just like this, but if you wrap it around the fan or leave them loose and similar, fan blades can catch wires and possibly they can also break. Now let's just take this cooler out. As you see, this is a cooler and this is a fan. And here underneath is the residue of a old thermal paste. Now it is time to take the processor out. Press tension lever down, move to the side and pull up with the tension plate. Now grab the processor with two fingers on opposite sides, gently and very carefully take it out. If you are not careful, you can bend pins inside a socket and most likely you won't be able to bend them back as they were, so motherboard will become unusable. Now clean the cooler's bottom middle surface with some tissue or paper towel, where on the end you can use paper towel and above 70% alcohol to clean it thoroughly. Do the same for the new processor. Here I have i5 processor that we will put in the socket and it can be done only one way. On top left corner of tension frame you can see this triangle that indicates where golden triangle of the processor will go. You can also see two holes here and here that corresponds with these two plastic lines. Now you know how it goes in and it cannot go any other way. 
Let's just put processor inside the socket carefully and gently. Just give it a little bit of notch so processor will sit inside the socket correctly. Lower the tension plate and make sure that it will go under the screw head. Press the tension level down and right under the hook and then just release the tension level. You need quite a bit of force to press it down, but don't worry, you will not break it. Put a little bit of thermal paste on the middle of the processor. Quite a bit ago, I learned a trick to use duct tape to spread thermal paste across the processor surface. Take a piece of duct tape, put it on your finger, just like this, and start spreading the paste from the middle outwards and outwards, so it will cover whole surface. Let's put a cooler on the processor, make sure that all those white pins goes into corresponding holes of your motherboard. Wiggle it a bit so all pins are inside the holes. Lock the pins. Press opposite two pins all the way down. And now do the same for remaining two. You can also press one by one, but it is best if you press two at once like I just showed you before. Now, let's just connect the fan connector and you are done! Well, that is it for today. I hope you liked the video, you learned something. If you have related or non-related questions, if you or if you want to say hi, whatever, just type everything below this video in comment section. And until next time, have a nice time, have a blessed and see ya. Bye bye. If you have any questions, did not understand something, want to ask me something, want just to talk, just type everything in comment section below. Don't forget to like or dislike this video, subscribe to my channel so you get notified about new videos. Share video with your friends, co-workers and others so they can learn too. And have a great day. Bye bye.